Hello everyone and welcome to Flow, your 30-day yoga journey. I'm Adrian, and behind me is Sweet Benji and I'm so excited that you're here for this journey. Today is day one and it's all about setting the tone, setting the stage for this ritual, for this journey that we are embarking on together. So hop into something comfy and let's get started. All right, let's begin on the ground. Take your time getting down here. We're gonna start in a cross-legged seat with the right foot in front of the left. Truly, take your time, ease in. If I ever get a little bit ahead uh, guiding the way, that's all right. You just take your time, listen to your body, and start in a way that feels honorable for where you're at today. So you don't need to rush. Don't need to push. The hardest part is done. <laughs> We've pressed play on the video and we have landed here together. Day one. So take a second. Feel it out. Start to gently lift up through the crown of the head. And if it feels comfortable, close your eyes. It's my honor and deep, deep pleasure to guide you with the sound of my voice here. Really appreciate your trust. So you can close the eyes or maybe soften your gaze, just bringing our attention inward, making an attempt to focus or refocus on the inner most part of ourselves here through our yoga practice. And today, especially, we're taking a little extra time to just set the tone. But that's not just something that I'm here to do. It's a very personal experience, so you'll set the tone with me. Start to relax through your shoulders, maybe soften through your fingertips and just allow your arms to relax and be heavy. Ungrip through the toes, the skin of the forehead, the jaw. Maybe start to notice any sounds around you. And through the daily home practice, we have this amazing opportunity to get better and better through practice, to get better and better at cultivating this relationship with our innermost self, just kind of having more awareness of where we're at each day in each moment. So if the mind is busy or your body is exhausted, know that it's all good. This is definitely a come as you are journey. Gently begin to deepen your breath, inhaling deeply through the nose. And maybe a couple of good exhales out through the mouth here as we start together. As you breathe, you might begin to bow the head, chin to chest, feel a deep stretch in the back of the neck and start to lift up through the heart space. And then slowly bring the palms together. And there's an opportunity here to set an intention. Notice what comes up when you're invited to set an intention for this journey, your commitment here. And don't think too hard, just maybe the first thing that comes up 
can always let it evolve as we move along through our days together. Repeat your intention quietly to yourself, whatever it may be, trust it, capture it. And then as my mom used to say to me, imagine it already so. It's already, it's already in truth. It's already happening. It's already, it already is. Let's take a deep breath in together. Inhale. And exhale, releasing the palms and opening the eyes. All right. A little moment here to check in with the neck. You can take one ear over one shoulder and then the other. Maybe draw circles with the nose. And then nice and easy, we're gonna scoop the belly in towards the spine just a bit to sit up nice and tall. Lift the heart, lift up through the armpit chest and then you're gonna nice and easy, just walk the palms out past your right knee. So we're twisting in the belly Gentle twist in the spine, and then we're starting to walk the palms out past the right knee. This will look and feel a little bit different for everyone. We have maybe a block or a book we can start to work with here right out of the gate. Of course, you can make this really active by watching, watching, walking <laughs> the fingertips all the way forward. And then I'll invite everyone to really let the tailbone be heavy here. Sits bones root down towards the earth and the weight of the head relaxes down. And then you bring the breath to enhance this experience. Feel the inhale in the low back so the torso expands. And feel the exhale in the side body as you keep the stretch active. Lovely, now draw your navel your belly actively to your spine so we're moving from center even here right at the beginning we come back up head over heart heart over pelvis and then we take it on past the left knee just checking in with the breath here using the breath to enhance the experience help us embody these stretches on a deeper level Relax away to the head over. If your right hip's peeling up here, back up the truck a little bit. Pull your right hip crease back and maybe walk your hands a little bit closer in. Breathe in. Exhale, navel draws to the belly actively. So we're activating the abs as we roll back up. All right, you probably guessed. Now we're going forward. So nice and easy. In kids yoga, we usually do like spider fingers all the way. Out. And then same thing here, forearms you can use the block. If the chest or the belly, you, you wanna accommodate for them, it's nice to give yourself a little bit of space. So make it yours. Inhale in deeply. Exhale, navel to spine, that's what brings us up and we're gonna switch the cross of the ankles and take the sequence again. This time to the left first, so nice and easy, walk it out. You can find some soft, easy movement here. Just swaying a little side to side, or maybe allowing the movement to just come from the breath here. Inhale in, exhale from center, rolling up back through the spine, and then take it to the right, here we go. And so many of my friends will know we have a mantra here on the channel, find what feels good. If you're holding static and rigid in a pose, maybe think of that mantra and think, okay, what, what, what can I do or listen to or respond to that might feel good? And it could just be like letting go of something that's been worrying you, or it could be making a physical adjustment or deepening your breath. On your next exhale, roll it back up to center. Inhale in, lift the chest. Exhale. Now we'll take it forward. 
Find what feels good. Stay heavy in the tailbone, heavy in the hips. Starting with a little hip check-in, <laughs> a little low back love. And you're gonna see a lot of uh, focus on the spine in this series, which is awesome. Inhale in, follow your breath, exhale, roll it back up. Beautiful, take a deep breath in here, sit up as tall as you can. As you exhale, draw the shoulder blades together, open up through your chest. Pause here, close your eyes, breathe in. Breathe out to come to all fours. So even here you can think about moving from your navel, from your center. That kind of changes the way you transition everything on the mat. It feels, I think it's more fun. It's kind of artful, <laughs> more conscious. Tabletop position, wrists are under the shoulders, knees are directly underneath the hip points. Try to be specific as, as let me try that again. Try to be as specific as you can, say that five times fast, when placing your hands and feet on the mat. So think of this almost as like a hand exercise. Spread the fingertips as wide as possible. Stack your bones. And then we'll drop the belly, press into the tops of the feet and look forward. Extension through the crown of the head, press into the palms. And exhale, round through the spine, really gather the muscles of the abdominal wall up, up, up towards the sky, press into your yoga mat. And then continue, inhale, drop the belly, open the chest. Think of extending through the crown so the neck is long. And then exhale, rounding through, chin to chest, really finding that arch that arc in the spine. One more time, inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat, and really gather the belly all the way up, 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 so active abs. Nice. Inhale back to tabletop position. Speaking of active abs, here we go. Slow and steady, we're gonna send the right toes out. Peek at me if you need to, dial them down and then send the left fingertips forward. Now listen carefully. First things first, we're gonna lengthen through the neck, so send your gaze straight down and tuck your chin slightly. Inhale in here, keep the neck long like, like so, and we're gonna bring the right knee towards the right elbow and the left elbow towards the left hip crease. Peek at me if you need to. So we're not rounding on this version. We're waking up the obliques. Then inhale to extend. And now round through, nose to knee. And that's a pattern we'll repeat here. Two more rounds. Inhale, extend. Exhale, left elbow to left hip crease. Right knee to right elbow, neck long. Inhale, extend. And exhale, knee to nose. Last time, inhale, extend. Exhale, neck stays long. Inhale, extend. <laughs> and knee to nose. Excellent. Release, send the hips back, come off the wrist for just a second. Let's draw a couple of wrist circles. So just three rounds of that, I already feel my abs kicking in. Okay, Benji, get comfortable. So focusing on the quality of the movement can be really efficient versus just the quantity. All right, back to all fours. Let's take it to the other side. Left toes reach out, right fingertips forward, neck long, inhale, exhale. Hello, obliques, let's wake them up. Left knee to left elbow, right elbow to right hip crease, squeeze. Inhale, extend, and knee to nose. Arch the spine like cat. Inhale, reach. Exhale, neck stays long. Press into the left palm, press into the top of the right foot. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose. So you can really use that exhale to activate the abs even more. Inhale, extend, last round. Exhale, gather it in. Inhale, extend, and rounding inward, knee to nose. Beautiful. Back to tabletop position. Curl the toes under, but listen carefully. You're gonna walk the hands back towards your knees. We're gonna lift the knees up and come into your version of what feels like a safe, 
squat. So you might grab your block and sit on it here. You might use it uh, to lift the earth up to you. You might just need to tap into your breath a little bit here and not panic. <laughs> Stretch through your sweet feet, the hips. Maybe you're starting to feel the weight of your body, you know, getting a little discouraged here, like you don't have the energy. Trust, we're here to transform all that. So give yourself grace and just keep breathing. If you need a smile, you can look at Benji's little paws creeping onto my <laughs> mat space here. All right, and then from here, we're gonna drop the heels, point the toes forward. You can keep the feet nice and wide, I recommend it. And come into a forward fold at the back of your mat. Let it all hang. Any stress, tension, friction you've been carrying, maybe we can soften and start to let it flow off the back, off the neck and shoulders, out the crown of the head. Bend your knees generously here. Take a deep breath in and a long cleansing breath out. Nice, draw the hands to your waistline. Keep the knees bent. Foot connection is strong, so really ground through all four corners of the feet. And let's begin to rise up, lift the heart space. Stay grounded through the feet, through the legs, and we rise up to mountain pose. Take a deep breath here in mountain. Exhale, relax the shoulders down. Remember your intention. Then inhale, reach for the sky. Big breath, big stretch, day one. Then exhale, draw the belly in and dive forward back into your fold. From here, bend the knees, walk the palms all the way out to a plank pose. Gather the belly up and in, you got this. Reach the heels back, crown of the head forward. Inhale, exhale, downward facing dog, nice. Pedal it out here, stretching through the feet, pressing through the knuckles, lengthening through all four sides of the torso. Checking in. On your next inhale, lift the right leg up high. On your exhale, you're gonna bring it forward into a lunge. Take your time, again, there's no rush here. Let's try to keep the back knee lifted here to start. Just give it a try, check in. Front knee over front ankle. Inhale in, exhale out. Good, inhale in, you're gonna pull the right hip crease back, straighten through that front leg, and then bend. Straighten, and then bend. And this is a nice place to use the blocks too as you kind of work this flossing moment into your practice. Pulling the right hip crease back, straightening the front leg, and then bending it. You can keep it soft and easy. Great, the next time your knee is bent, stay there, bring your left palm to the ground. We're gonna send the right fingertips forward, up and back into a twist. Good, then continue in a circular motion, forward, up and back twist, forward, up, and back, twist, and then all the way back down to the ground. Awesome, plant the palms, step the right toes back, plank pose, inhale in here, exhale, knees come to the earth, chest comes to the earth, chin comes to the earth, and then we all come to the earth. Take a breath in, rise up, cobra, and exhale to soften and release, bring it back home. Curl the toes under, press up to plank. Quietly whisper to yourself here, I am strong. Don't think too hard, just give it a try. I am strong. And then send the hips up high and back, down dog. You're doing great, take a deep breath in. Long breath out. On your next inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, send it forward into your lunge. Try to keep that back knee lifted here, give it a try. Front knee over front ankle. You're gonna inhale, straighten through the front leg, pull the left hip crease back, and then exhale. And you can do this at your own pace here. We're just kind of taking stock today. Little goes a long way here. And then the next time your knee is bent, right hand to the earth, left fingertips go forward as you breathe in. And up and back and around as you breathe out. Inhale, reach, 
Exhale, take it around. Left knee's gonna wanna splay out here. Squeeze it into the midline, to the center of your mat space, center of your body. And then the next time we come around and back and down, we'll plant the palms, step it back to plank, take a deep breath in, and a long breath out, stay here. A deep breath in, and a long breath out. Last time, inhale in. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, or lower all the way to the belly. Press into the tops of the feet. Inhale, rise up, cobra. And then slowly release. Press up to all fours. Swing the legs to one side, any side. And come through to lie on your back. When you get there, give yourself a little hug. You can hug the knees into the chest. Hi, buddy. Oh, good stretch, man. Hug the knees into the chest, either one at a time or together. And we'll finish with a gentle recline twist. So you're gonna bump the hips to the right, send your knees to the left. You can rest the hands on the rib cage or take the arms out wide. Maybe turn to your right ear. I have a beautiful view of Benji here. Not to brag, he's a doll. Take a deep breath in. Long breath out. And then we'll melt it back to center nice and slow and just take it to the other side, nice and easy. Slowly bring it back to center. Hug the knees into the chest one more time. And then allow the feet to fall to the ground with a little energy, with a little thud. Sorry to your downstairs neighbors if you have them. And then extend the right leg, extend the left leg. Now listen carefully, send your arms up towards the sky and then with so much love and care, just tender loving care, you're gonna, almost as if it were part of a dance, you're gonna place your right hand on the ground, palm face up slowly, and place your left hand with so much intention on the ground slowly. And take a deep breath in, close your eyes. And on this exhale, relax the weight of your body completely and fully, totally into your mat. Rest. Observe. And let your breath be easy. See how fast you can practice this portion of our journey, which is all about surrender. And slowly bring your awareness back to your breath. We'll start to draw a couple circles with the toes, moving the ankles. And same thing with the fingers, moving the wrists. And then maybe bring the heels together if that feels good. Palms come together in prayer. And we have an invitation here to bring the thumbs right up to the third eye. This is a symbolic point of our intuition, something we definitely plan to tap into and nurture on this journey. A lot of wonderful surprises in store. Some of them I don't even know about, we're gonna to discover together. So thank you for your commitment and thank you for showing up. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Let's take one deep breath in to close this practice in together. Big full breath. And then exhale together. Lots of love out. Take good care. Namaste.